Hi, Coach Michelle here. So, I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about staying focused and how to find your inner strength. Um, I keep hearing so many people, and it's really, uh, this time of year, it starts happening. People make their resolutions after the new year um, or their goals, and they start falling off. And this is about the time that people, you know, they say, like, I think it's 70% of the people, like, fall off. Uh, and don't continue. Um, so I keep seeing this. And people's like, oh, well, I am do good for a few days and then I fall off. And then I try and do good for a few days and I fall off. Or I do good all week and then the weekend hits and I just totally go overboard. Um, don't do my workouts. I eat bad. Or I do good for a month and then I just, I don't know what happens. I lose my motivation. Or... Like for me, it used to be, I would get to a certain time of year. I could do good all year up until like September, October, and then I would start slowly falling off. And I had to figure out why. Until I recognized that, I couldn't, I didn't see it to begin with. Um, and then it hit me like a ton of bricks that it was always the same time of year. Um, so here's some tips to help you. I know a lot of people just make like um, a goals in their head. We're like, okay, I'm going to do this workout. I'm going to follow my nutrition plan. I'm going to like work out on these times of days, things like that. But they just put it in their mind. Something happens when you take something and write it down. You make you like a list of goals. And it's almost like it's writing yourself a contract. Um, and that works for a lot of people, just writing it down. And they knew they write it down. And for some reason, it sticks in their brain better than them just thinking about the goal. And it gets shoved behind everything else that goes on with life. Um, so try that. Write down your goals. Be specific. Write down, I'm going to do this workout program for the full 30 days, the full 60 days, the full 90 days, whatever it is. I'm going to follow the nutrition plan exactly how it's laid out. Now, I know there's going to be days that that doesn't happen. You're going to want a cookie or a piece of cake, and you can include that. There is ways to include that. You have the treat swaps if you're following the fixed programs. Um, I'm going to set a time, set aside one hour. Some of these programs are 30, some are a little bit longer, So, but set aside one hour each day, or whatever your time is, to do the workout. If you have set schedules, some of you don't, then make a set schedule. Okay, I'm going to, let's say you work out in the morning. I'm going to set my workout for 5 o'clock in the morning. If you work days and you can only do it after work, I'm going to do it as soon as I get home from work before dinner. Um, things like that. Be specific about your goals, right? Um, and once you do that, it's kind of like ingrained in your brain a little bit more. The other thing you need to do is figure out your deep down why. You know, a lot, some people have the surface whys, and those are great, like fitting in, you know, looking good in that bathing suit for the summer, um, getting into that dress for some formal dinner coming up, or um, fitting into those jeans you did before you were pregnant. Those are great, but a lot of times those are surface because what happens when you get to that goal, right? You got those jeans on, now what? You wore that dress and had the dinner, now what? And a lot of people go back to what they were doing before. You have to find a deeper reason, deep down, whether it's to keep from having all the health issues that run in the family that could have been prevented with a healthier lifestyle. Um, is it so you do lose the weight and have more energy so you can go play with your kids and run around outside and things like that that you have no energy for now? Um, you know, and sometimes you just need to do it for you, for you, just to make yourself feel better. So you need to dig down and figure out what that why is because that's what's going to get you through those days you don't want to do it. That's going to get you through the long haul because this is a lifestyle. This isn't a diet and then you quit kind of thing in 30 days or when you reach your goal. You know, you can't go back to the way you were eating before because you end up where you were before. Um, so you need to dig that out. Put that in your goals. 
Put it on something on your wall, on your computer screen, something like that. Um, record a voice message for your alarm clock um, if your phone's capable of doing that. And that way you wake up to it every day. So that's my little tips for you today. You've got to figure that out. The other one is figuring out the trigger. There is usually a trigger behind why people do this, why they self-sabotage, why they fall off track. Mine was I had so much stuff going on at like that September, October in my life. You know, that's always when my divorces happen. That's when I was like assaulted. Um, you know, different things. They always seem to happen like in that time frame. And I did not realize that was the time frame that I would always fall off track. Once I realized that, then I could start changing my habits. So figure out what, hey Corey, you're always on my videos and things. Um, but figure out what your trigger is. Is it, you know, um, you know, certain stress. Some people have certain habits. They drive certain ways, say home from work. They always pass that donut shop. And it triggers them. Whether, you know, they've been doing good or not. Then they, it's something in their brain that like triggers, like go get that donut. Find a different way home from work so you don't pass it. Um, different things like that. You, but you have to figure out why. Is it emotional eating? Do you stress eat? Um, is it just out of boredom? Um, you know, different things like that. Why you self-sabotage? Why you fall off track? Things like that. You have to figure it out why. And then you can start changing that. You know, no, it's not going to happen overnight, but you can slowly start changing that. So that's my little tips for you to do. Write your goals down. Find your big why. And try and figure out why or what triggers you to do this. So y'all have a great afternoon.